another collection inventory video with you all. This is actually going to be my last one that I am doing right now at the beginning of the year. I already did a makeup collection inventory. I did my skincare. I did my hair care. And this one is going to be my body care. So this one is actually probably my smallest and I feel like I've come a very long way in my body care and I'm pretty happy about that. So let's jump in, go through this. We're not going to go drawer by drawer. We're going to go in the same order that I did last time with the same categories. So our very first category is body wash and I usually go through body wash. I feel like pretty quickly, but I also really like to have like a little bit of a back stock so that I don't run out. So last year at this time, I had eight body washes. And then at the mid-year update that I did, I had seven, so I went down one. And then now I have five, so I still went down. I am happy with this progress, but also not super happy with it. And I'll go into detail after I show you what products I currently have. Three of them are from Dove, and they are the Deep Moisture Nourishing Body Wash. I'm currently working on one of those, and I'm very close to being done with it. I also have one from Ulta and Time and Again. So all of these are full size. Three of them, the Dove ones, are liquid body wash, and then the other two are like a bar soap. I usually don't use bar soap very often and so I kind of was hoping to work on those first and get them out of my collection and I didn't. I totally ignored them. I really need to find a way to use them. Maybe I use them for a different purpose. If you have any suggestions for me of what else I can use a bar soap for, let me know down below. I'm willing to try different things to use them up. I just feel like I need to use them and maybe I need to use them in a different way. So since the last update, I did end up using four full size body washes and I did end up accumulating two more, which is how I got to the five that I'm currently at. I did make a goal last update to try and get to two. Now, obviously I did not hit this goal, but I think that is a really good number to try and be at. So I would like to keep my goal up to. Next category is body scrubs. And this one I feel like kind of went back and forth a little bit. So at the beginning of last year, I had three. And then at the mid-year update, I had two, so I went down one. Now I have three again. <laughs> um, so I'm back up to three, and that's pretty much because I purchased some backups. Um, they were really good price, and they're ones that I know that I really like and that I will go through. Let me just show you what I have. I have the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish in Crushed Macadamia and Rice Milk. So I have two of these, those are the backups that I got. I have a Dr. Teal's Pink Himalayan Salt Scrub Restore and Replenish, and that is the one that I'm currently using, and that's also the one that I haven't used before, and that is the one that I kind of brought in to try something a little bit different. So I did use up two since the last update, but then I also accumulated three. So that kind of canceled out my progress there. But I did end up using up the one, the two that I had previously. So those ones are gone and now I have completely new ones. They, again, for my body scrubs, I also made a goal last update of two and I did not meet that goal, but I do want to. I think having two in my collection is good. Having one that I'm currently using and one backup, I think this is going to be kind of a consistent trend throughout my body care category. I feel like two is a really good number to have for each thing. Body lotions. I feel like I've actually come a very long way since last year. Last year at the beginning of the year, I had nine body lotions and that's one of the categories I really was trying to focus on and work through. And then at the mid-year update, I ended up with six, so I made some progress. And now I'm at five. I thought I was gonna be making a lot more progress than that, but what ended up happening is I purchased a couple because I think I had run out completely or very, very close to running out completely. And then I accumulated a good amount. So I did purchase some full size and I ended up not liking one of them, so then I purchased another one, but then I figured I better work through the one that I originally purchased. 
yeah. There's a lot of reasons why I'm at the number that I'm at right now for this, but I really wish that it was lower. Currently, I have body lotions from Aruba Aloe, Bath & Body Works, Hemp's, I have two from them, and Cetaphil. So two of these are full size, those are the ones that I purchased, um, thinking that I was going to, it was going to be like my only body lotion in my collection. Clearly I was wrong. And then I also have two travel size, and then I have one foil packet sample, which was a freebie like gift with purchase type of thing. So I did end up using five, five travel size that I had previously. So I did really work through them, but then I ended up accumulating four new ones. Again, I didn't reach my goal of two. I had set another goal of two. Um, and same thing, we're going to go with the same trend. I would like to continue with that goal of two and hope that I get to that at some point, hopefully by the next update. Next category is fragrance, and this is my massive, huge, ginormous, out of control category. <laughs> like, really, really insane. Um, so let me kind of go through the progression here. At the beginning of last year, 2021, I had 43 total fragrances. That's a lot. And I don't go through fragrance very quickly. I go through it very, very slowly. And then at the next update, the mid-year update, I had 35 total fragrances. So I did go down a decent amount. And then now I have 29 fragrances. So I didn't do as well as I was hoping I would do. I really, really need to work on this category, like very, like focus, focus in on this. And I have been actually, I have been including my samples into my project pans so that I can kind of work through them a little bit and kind of try and focus on them. So I have been doing that, but each sample still takes me about a month to go through. Let me list off a bunch of brands that I have fragrances from. Kind of hang with me here because this is going to be a lot of, a lot of brands. I have Gucci, Victoria's Secrets, Body Source, Escada, Aquilina, Bath & Body Works, Dolce & Gabbana, Curve, Giorgio Armani, Vera Wang, one that I don't know the brand from, Pacifica, Clean, Elizabeth Arden, Kate Spade, Lancome, Victor and Rolf, Nest, Marc Jacobs, and YSL. I didn't go through, like, I've got like two of these, three of these, but I do have some duplications within these different brands. I just didn't go through it. It would have taken way too long. So 14 of these are full size and seven are travel size, which has not changed since the last update. But I have been working on the samples. So we have gone down a little bit there. So now we have eight samples. I used to have four samples and I ended up decluttering two. So I got six out of my collection since the last update. And I think somehow I might have added one in. It must have been like a free gift with purchase or something like that. I'm not sure if the numbers quite add up there, but I think one did end up getting added. I didn't actually set a goal or maybe I didn't. I just don't remember what it was. But I am going to set a goal for what I want to try and be at for the next update, which is going to be 25 fragrances total. I very much so want to get that way down even farther than that. I want to be like past the 20s, so like lower than 20. But I don't think that that's realistic by next update. So I'm hoping 25 by next update. So for deodorant, and yes, I did count deodorants. Uh, last year so I'm gonna do it now as well so last year I had started out with eight deodorants which is a lot I feel like no one needs that many but I had like a back stock and then in the mid-year update I had six so I used up two and then I used up two again because now I have four so I feel like two is a pretty steady amount that I use up like every six months so let me go over what I currently have. I have the Mitchum Oxygen Odor Control in Mountain Air. I have the Mega Babe Deodorant Wipes in Rosy Pits. And the Med Spa Roll-On Antiperspirant. I have two of those. I have one full size, two travel size, and one foil packet sample or, or wipe, what, however you want to say it. And I have used up two full size since the last update. So again, I feel like I'm keeping that pretty steady. 
I'll probably have to purchase some at some point because I have one full size left. So I'm sure I'll be able to go through that and possibly like at least one of the travel size by like mid-year. I don't know if I will be doing an update on all of these categories though next year just because some of these categories I am doing very very well on and I feel like I'm staying pretty consistent with the exception of uh, the fragrance. So I'm going to super quickly run through the last two categories because I did have bath soak salts, any kind of specialty bath products, as a category because I did have some at the beginning of last year and I was really trying to focus on them. Well, by the mid-year update last year, I had used up all of them, which was really good progress. And I haven't accumulated any since then and I don't have any now. So we're not gonna really talk or go into that category, but I just thought I'd mention it. So the last category is shave cream. And this one I feel like stays pretty under control as well. So last update, or last year's update, I had two. And then the mid-year update, I had one. And now I still have one. And I feel like that's pretty good. Like, I feel like it's something I don't go through very quickly. So I, I'm good at where I'm at. So right now I currently have the EOS Shave Cream 24-Hour Moisture in Lavender. So I obviously used one up and I also accumulated this one that I currently have. For shave creams, my goal last update was actually to have two instead of just one. But I'm realizing that I don't have to have a backup all the time of this type of product because I'm just not going through it that quickly. So I think one to two is okay to have for my shave creams. Okay. Now let me go through the totals really, really quick with you guys. Last year, I had a total of 76 body care products. I feel like that's a lot. And then my mid-year update, I had 57 body care products, which is better, but still a lot. Now I have used up 10 additional products since my last update, which means that I have 47 products total in my body care. I think this definitely needs to come down a lot more. I think most of this is from fragrance, so I really need to work on that fragrance category. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I hope you guys have been enjoying all of my collection and inventory videos that I've been doing. I hope you all have a wonderful and beautiful rest of your day. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified of all my future uploads.